Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks and I'm sharing my latest Renee Bouquet's Design Team project. I used Tim Holt's French Industrial Papers to make this mini album. And on the cover I have a antique cabinet card. You can get these on eBay. And here is some Prima Leaves. It's a vine stem and some feathers, printed feathers, and a piece of fabric that has been stamped. We have Renee Bouquet's Dream Catcher Dragonflies. So pretty and sparkly. I made these flowers from mulberry paper and I glittered them with Renee Bouquet's chunky glitter glass in pink and in diamond, a mixture of both. This is a mulberry flower I made and this one is one I made also. This is a Petaloo textured element teal flower. Renee Bouquet's carry those. I put some white paint on it to mute out the color a little bit. And this is Renee Bouquet's Trinket, Large Snowflake, Rhinestone, and Pearl Shank Button. Another really sparkly item. And these, my husband came home one day from an auction. He had bought a whole box of these crocheted shade pulls that people would use to pull down their roll-up shades with. So... I was very happy to get those. Here's a metal filigree piece. This is says Everlasting. It's a wood laser cut chipboard that's been painted. And I have here underneath, you can see it better on the back, this lace. Renee Bouquet's Sheer Romance Lace in White. And uh, I've covered the spine with some rosette trim and I got this idea from a fellow design team member, Phyllis. She's been putting down the uh, rosette trim and then covering it over with a big piece of lace, just like this. And the big piece of lace that I used is Renee Bouquet's My Romantic Heart Lace. Here's what the heart's on the edges. And it's sort of sheer with just this fine pattern in the middle. I have a piece over here. Really pretty lace. And on this spine here is another of the Petaloo teal, but flowers, and Renee Bouquet's Baroque metal frame. You get two in a set from Renee Bouquet's, and I just put a piece of the paper from the collection inside, and you can write on a title for the album. This is a handmade flower from my friend Brandy. Another of Renee's Snowflake Rhinestone Buttons. And I've done some stamping in here. Um, just various stamps. I don't even have them in their packages, so I don't remember their names. But there's like this rose down here and here. And I uh, embossed this paper and there's a metal filigree corner. And Renee Bouquet's Natural Cotton Crochet Lace Clooney 003 is right there. It opens like this. And you can open up this little coin envelope and pull out a tag. Mulberry flowers, some stickers from my stash, 
This is a piece from my stash. This has been embossed and this comes out. It's a double sided photo mat. And there's some of the stickers. And I also did some stenciling with texture paste in this album. Metal filigree and another one of the shade pulls. And here I made a circle cutout and got some more of the 003 Clooney lace from Renee Bouquets and I topped it with a very small lace from my stash. And here's some pearl trim from my stash. This is just a piece cut from the collection as a journaling spot. And I did some stamping in the middle. And these small pieces are from the collection. I cut them out and backed them with black cardstock. Some mulberry paper flowers. This is a prima a small flower. And this is a Blue Fern Studios chipboard Chelsea Vines from Renee Bouquets. I painted it with some white and pink and teal and then I glittered it with the chunky glitter glass Renee Bouquet's Chunky Glitter Glass in Pink and Diamond again. And you can open this up like this. And here's a little journaling spot cut from the collection. Tucked into the little flowers. Some more stenciling and filigree corner. I embossed this with an embossing folder and you can pull this photo mat out. Did some tearing from with the papers and layering. Here's a doily die cut. This is held down with a magnet. And here's some more of paper flowers that I made and some stenciling, filigree corner, Tim Holtz plate that I painted with pink and white and blue or teal. This opens like this, some stamping and like this, some more stamping and I embossed this page and this is a waterfall. And have some more metal filigree and you can use this as a journaling spot. And more stenciling flower. And the next page. This is Renee Bouquet's Queen Bee Clock Charm here. I've tied a little piece of seam binding, gray seam binding that I dyed on top. This is a piece from my stash. Here's another handmade flower. Here's another piece of the Chelsea vines. I actually cut up the Chelsea vines into pieces and used, you get two pieces in a set and I used them throughout the book, stuck them here and there. And so I'm editing this little segment in because I noticed when I was editing my video that I completely forgot to show you this page. This pulls right out of the top. This whole big page. And inside we have some stamping. I tore the paper to make a pocket. And here's a 4x6 photo mat. And I just curled the papers down and stuck some of a piece of Renee's Bridesmaid's Lace in there and a more curling. And the other side is a place for a picture here and another pocket with a larger photo mat and some stamping. Just a fun different page. Comes right out of the top. This is a piece of trim. Renee Bouquet's Timeless White Lace. Here's a piece of it you can see all of it. So pretty. I just have the end right there. 
because I actually cut the top off and used it in another spot right here cut the top and stuck it on the top of this photo mat which has been embossed and here's another piece of the Chelsea vines from Blue Fern Studios and the metal filigree chipboard one of my handmade mulberry flowers right here I've used this is on sale right now at Renable Caves. Um, Prima's stamp and add angel wings. You get the stamp right there. And then you get these little embellishments that you can glue on to accent the wings. So I used the propeller here. And then I also painted it with white, pink, and teal. And this is Renable Caves. Bridesmaid's Lace that I've used here on this part and you can pull out this little journaling tag behind this metal filigree. There's some more stamping and up here stamping and stenciling. This opens. It has a little photo mat or journaling spot inside. Help those with a magnet. Next page, another of the Chelsea Vines. Lace handmade flowers, some stamping, some stenciling in there. Here's a piece I cut from Rene Bouquet's wide floral embroidered lace. See this part, just the edge piece from that lace. And here's more of Renee's 003 Clooney lace. And I did some embossing and layering of paper. It's a photo mat. Here's a photo mat. And here's Rene Bouquet's delicate flower lace, some more pearl trim, and here's another piece right here that I cut from the timeless white lace, this piece here, it's right here two small pieces of lace from my stash for two small <clears throat> wallet size photos. Here's a place for a picture here and a pull out photo mat here. More stamping. Next page more stenciling with textured paste. This little piece, you can pull this out right on it and stick it back down in. This is a piece I cut from another collection. And here's another piece from the Timeless White Lace. And some metal filigree and some more crochet lace 003. And here's Renee Bouquet's Delicate Beauty Guy Pure Lace with some trim from my stash and some beaded trim on top. This little journaling tag. Photo mat. Photo mat. Stamping, rosette trim, next page is another of Renee's Bouquet's Dreamcatcher Dragonfly. This is the Natural Cotton Clooney Lace 001 right here and that lace from my stash and some pearl trim. 
Got some stenciling here, metal filigree, stamping, piece cut from the collection. More stenciling, and it is another stamp from the Prima stamp set. This metal wing here. And a little piece I stuck on of the timeless white lace right there. Torn edges. 4x6 photo mat. Another photo mat. This has been embossed. And another waterfall. This is four by four photos will fit in this waterfall. Stenciling, stamping, journaling spot. I've also got washi tape I forgot to mention throughout the book. Little places. And that's it. This album will be for sale on eBay. I'll leave a link below in the description. I really like how this came out. I hope you do too. Don't forget to check out Renee Bouquet. She's got in some new laces and some new die cuts in her store. So make sure you go and see all these beautiful things and her new ones. Thanks so much for watching.